We begin tonight with the technology changing Bay Area crime fighting. One lab is finding answers for families decades after their loved ones died. Good evening, I'm Amma Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. We're glad you're with us. They're on a crime solving spree. Five cases in just the last month, about 50 to 60 years old after they went cold. Since March, a Texas based lab has worked with law enforcement to trace the names of four people found dead across Northern California, including a 13 year old girl. Just this week, they identified a Santa Cruz County woman's killer. ABC 7 News reporter Lauren Martinez explains how the lab is taking DNA to a whole new level. DNA technology continues to crack decades old crime mysteries. In the last 30 days, the company Authorum has solved five California cases. Three of them are from the Bay Area. Cases don't have to go cold anymore. Cold cases are a thing of the past. Michael Director Vogan. of case management Michael Vogan explains their technology can go a step further than what public crime labs are armed with. They compare DNA to databases to find relatives, crafting a much bigger family tree than other DNA labs can. They send us the DNA and instead of looking at 20 to 24 markers, we look at hundreds of thousands of markers. And with the additional data points, we can detect like a six cousin. And so all of a sudden there's a new roadmap, new investigative leads that are delivered. The most recent case solved, Karen Persefield. Her sister told me over the phone her nickname was Cookie. She was as sweet as she was beautiful. In 1976, while visiting her sister in Aptos, she went out for a walk and never returned. Authorities say she was stabbed to death. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office said Richard Summerhalder was a suspect, but there wasn't enough evidence to charge him. Four months after Persefield's death, Summerhalter was arrested for murdering two other women in Santa Cruz County. He only served eight and a half years in prison before being paroled and moving out of state. I don't understand how it all slipped through the cracks. Summerhalter passed away in 1994, but through the forensic evidence the sheriff's office submitted to Othram, they were able to identify him as Persefield's killer. I spoke I with her imagine. daughter, Meadow they Shoemake, who lives in Washington. She was um, six years old when her yeah. mother was killed. It's been a lifelong, uh, you know, uh, obsession of mine to want to know what happened, why, and all that, and who. Meadow, how does it feel to have this closure all of these years later? Like I said, your mind wanders to far out places when you don't know the truth. And um, so it's like a bittersweet justice. I'm really happy for um, there must be other people that you know, are going to feel the same way as me. Othram is shifting from not only doing cold cases from decades ago, but now getting into modern casework in the South Bay. Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.